This is an overview of the Miso Customs overhead interior hex rack. This fits 2016 to 2020 Toyota Tacoma double cab without a sunroof. This is for the regular roofs. On the back side, it'll give you a kit contents of what's in the box, all the features, and let's see what's inside. Opening up, got the foam protective. And here is the main product. This is the overhead hex rack. It's quarter inch aluminum, CNC bent, and powder coated. The whole design theory behind the hex cutout was you can mount anything vertical, horizontal, or even at an angle and web, and web your mollies through it that way. Pretty robust. So now we're gonna go to the internal components. We've got all the hardware, spacers, screws, and we've got the installation tool. And we're gonna go over that later, how that works in the vehicle. This separate spot is if you, it's an optional handle retention kit if you wanna keep the factory handles. Otherwise, this will bolt in as is. So let's go over to the truck. We'll see how it installs. Now that we've got the rack and the hardware unboxed, we're gonna go over the contents. It includes four jacknut threaded inserts. These are seated into the overhead roof and is what secures the rack four threaded bolts, four washers, and four spacers. The spacers seat the rack off the headliner so it doesn't touch. Finally, we have one short screw and the tool to seat the jack nuts. We will include some extra hardware just in case you lose one or mess it up. So now that you've seen the overview, we're gonna install it in the vehicle. Now that both have been removed, we're gonna seat the jack nuts. With the smaller included bolt, screw it in to the jack nut, then take the tool and slip it right in the top. You're gonna wanna put the jack nut directly in the center and squeeze. After that it's seated and unscrew the bolt. The jack nut should be centered right in the hole. We'll go over to the other one. Threading it in to the insert, seating it on the tool right in the center and squeeze. Do that for the other side and then we're ready to do the installation. Now that the jack nuts are inserted, we're going to take our four bolts with the supplied washers and our four spacers. It really helps to have someone else help you hold the other end during this part of the installation. So I'm going to give two and two. And what we're going to do is place one bolt through here with a spacer. And we're going to start with one first because it's a little tricky. Move it up to the headliner. Get that one started. Then you can go over to the next hole. Put the spacer behind there. Get the bolt. And start the next one. Leave it a little loose until you get to the other side and then tighten everything down. Now work on our way to the other side. Now take our spacer, put it behind, take our bolt through the spacer, get it seated into the jack nut, and make sure you don't cross thread this. It's a very tight fit. In fact, you might have to push up on the rack just to start, start the uh, threads. So there's one. The last one's gonna be the hardest because all the other three bolts are in. Go through there and tighten it down. So once all four are tight, this roof rack's ready to go. The only other option, if you choose to install, is the handle retention kit. So we're gonna go through a different installation if you were gonna do the handle retention, but this thing is, is ready to rock. You can start mounting equipment on it. Um, everything will hold up. If you want the grab, grab handle, we will show you how to install that optional kit. 